Hello YouTube. After uh, my little uh, movies about uh, the ferro rods, uh, one of my friends told me that uh, he is against the idea uh, that the ferro rod is uh, a very good fire starter, and he uh, argumented that. Uh, uh, the ferro rod contains two pieces, one the rod, the other the scraper, and if uh, we lose uh, our scraper, we are in trouble because we cannot obtain uh, any spark from uh, the ferro serine rod. Yes, uh, this is true. We have to have a scraper. Uh, I'll jump directly into the matter uh, many of uh, manufacturer of producer <coughs> accompany their product with scrapers this one is from joker so little pieces of metal i know people that use only this kind of stuff to uh, obtain sparks from the various ferrocerium rod uh, i don't like them they are too small, uh, and heavy to use, uh, difficult to use in uh, rough conditions, with gloves, uh, with uh, frozen hands and so on. But they are a possibility, we have a, an option. As you can see, uh, some scrapers are good, others are not. Let's try to see what kind of scraper is this. I don't know, probably there is not the angle, all right, we're getting somewhere. As you can see, with this scraper, we can obtain some sparks. This is why I don't like it. So, we lost our scraper. What can you do? First object that came to my mind is my knife. I almost always use knives that are uh, that have the back of the blade uh, crisp, sharp. So this helped me obtain sparks from a ferrocerium rod. After I uh, get rid of corrosion layer, you could see. Uh, the kind of sparks that I can obtain with the back of my knife. So, uh, this is one option. There are, of course, a uh, situation where our knife, like my Helle Sigmund, uh, do not have a sharp spine. So, this one, this particular knife is a very good knife, but is made from laminated steel and uh, the back is rounded. So, this will not help me to obtain a spark from a ferro uh, So, we have to think about something else. Well, we, almost all of us, have a saw. This is my Tajima and it has the back of the uh, blade that is very sharp. Let's see, as you can see, without any problem I can obtain very good sparks. Well, if we have with us an axe, we can use the blade of the axe, the sharp part of the blade, to obtain uh, sparks. Uh, well, you can say this is not good because we dull the blade. Yes, this is true, but uh, an axe can be used, can be functioned very well, even if uh, is not shaving sharp. So this is another option. And uh, with that uh, being done, let's see, and I will show you a lot of other options to use with the ferrocerium rod. And we can start by this. This is, is something that I use to sharp 
my tools. So we can use it to obtain sparks. It works very well. I have here even a bottle opener. Uh, this blade is dull. I don't know if we can uh, obtain something with this. I want to see because the uh, steel is not a very good steel. But as you can see, without any problem, we have obtained uh, good sparks with this bottle opener. What can we use? Tells. Uh, well, I have here this uh, multifunctional. Uh, from it I have sharp only this ore and I can use it to obtain sparks because we have sharp metal and this is very good without any problem. Uh, other uh, multifunctional have little saws. The back of the saw is uh, also sharp so it can be used to obtain very good sparks. Uh, I have here also a uh, uh, little folder from Victorinox and I have some uh, a file. Well, this is not very sharp. I don't know if I can do this, but yes, it can be used. So, if our folder has a saw, use the back of the saw, if not, we uh, must search for uh, a tool that is sharp enough to be used. Also, this is my uh, traditional uh, flint uh, steel. Excuse me, this is my traditional from, from uh, flint and steel. And this one can be used also to obtain very good sparks. The edges are sharp. And the last, I have a piece of flint with sharp edges that can be used very well to obtain spark. Why uh, can we use a vast array of objects to obtain sparks from the ferrocerium murad? Because this is um, this is formed by many metals that are put together, and anything that is sharp and harder than the composition of the ferro rod can scrape uh, pieces of it that will light, and we can obtain fire. So, those are my objects that I gather uh, from my uh, my house and yard. Uh, but this is not uh, the end of it. Anything, even a piece of glass, a broken glass, can be used. Uh, um, I don't know. Um, you name it. The only condition that uh, must be required is uh, that, that uh, the object must be sharp and at the same time harder than the ferro rod. So, if we have lost our striker, there is no problem and we can use uh, the ferrocerium rod or with the object that we have on us, knife, axe, saw, and uh, we can continue, or with something that we can find in wilderness and that is as I said a piece of shattered glass a piece of flint uh, a piece of uh, iron discarded iron that is sharper harder than the ferrocerium rod and this all that uh, those objects can help us obtaining a uh, uh, spark from the ferrocerium rod and help can help us uh, obtaining a fire. So, um, I think that I answered uh, very well to the uh, opinion of my friend. 
and uh, I think uh, that uh, he is wrong and I firmly consider that uh, our ferrocerium rod is one of the best way to start a fire in wilderness. This is all for today, a good day for you all.